I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me.
Here they come! Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? That's all manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Well, please keep me apprised of your progress as to that matter. Yes? Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Well, please... Any news on that thing we spoke about? You know, that thing? 
Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. It's for other parties. Buyers. I bet the outlaws shot it for kicks. At least the short circuit would have let some raptodons out. Revenge! Kinda. I siphon power from the pods to keep Dr. Crane from catching on. I'm no electrician. Every time I plugged it in, the locks would open. Well, it's not like I expected this to happen. Hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavior... Wait. Yes, I'm quite sure we've met. My apologies. Have you retrieved my schematics yet? What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. All the more reason I need to keep my discretion... discreet. Now, if you wouldn't mind returning them to me... Now, I'll just attach this here, a bit of glue, a little elbow grease. Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh, hmm. I can't be caught with this. Uh, you take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model, hot off the presses. I'll, uh, 
Call you? Yes, I'll call you. Gotta be where Mr. Jameson is. System. I hope he's okay. I hope that wasn't a load bearing wall. can't do that.
forming. <laughs> Clever.
Did you find my colleague, Jameson? Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. You understand nothing. Me, least of all. Please, just leave me to contemplate my future. Or lack thereof. What can I do you for? Yeah, I ain't gonna make no comment on anything like that. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like Sissy Pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. 
Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals.
we've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Heard from the lasses down in 22. The a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Stars, what a find. 
fine picking like this deserves an equally fine payout. Go on, dearie, and don't spend it all in one place. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there a... Any time, sweetheart. It's almost time. I found a handsome ceramic. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled hours. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Keep hanging around, and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Not sure why you'd want to, given the biohazard signs. Luckily, we don't actually have any chemical agents or play going on in there. Not right now, at least. Well, you did help me out. Sure, go ahead. Just don't do anything unsavory. Sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. 
highly lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it. And I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Hello again. You know, my government seal. Oh, yes, of course. I apologize if I seem over-eager, it's just... I must have that seal. <laughs> Soon, if possible. How else might I assist you? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. 
I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I can't believe the board allows an unaffiliated station like this to stay open. Wish I could say it was good to talk. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment. But I'm a decent scrapper and a better-than-average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. office used to be in the docking base. Yeah. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and feeling my heart shake. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good, I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Specifically, definitely. Definitely, specifically. Oh, oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, 
Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Huh. I'd never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... Ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Some freelancers sneer at Sublight for setting up a storefront, but they rake in the bits. Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. We're not gonna have to hurt anybody, are we? 
Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Hey, that pad down there. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. <laughs> no, never. Monarch. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I reckon once you have everything. Best of... Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the Brain Eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me?
It's you. This is the Halcyon News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Lobby with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. How about not? Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. You can't be serious. Halcyon Helen, greatest cultural icon of our colony, Empress of the Aether Waves. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, so glad to finally have a word with you. I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. Two-bit actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me? We can do this anytime you want. All right, Cedric. If that's how you want to behave, I have no choice but to file an official reprimand on your permanent record. Oh, please do. I'd love an official reprimand from a failed executive. Could you do me a favor and have it laminated? Could we please stop this nonsense? You are an extraordinary scientist. If your talents extend to forensics, then you may... As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable. Fine. But Rizzo's... I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludo... Mr. Kin... Helen was more than popular. She gave something to... No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh... I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening... Transmission? It is possible. Eric, the... Hey. Captain, and I don't. I wouldn't mind having. I miss. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it.
Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't... I want to be honest. Oh, isn't she sweet? I ought to go write her back. Oh.